global stability is certainly something we could do with in the Eurozone after years of financial upheaval. Jörg Rochel joins me now. He's a finance expert and the president of the European School of Management and Technology here in Berlin. It's good to have you with us. So looking at this upcoming Greek election, what do you make of the left's growth program? We heard it in the report. They want to raise the minimum wage, extend credit lines, and also all the banks should become state banks. Uh, could this possibly work? Well, there are quite some controversial points in this agenda. Um, some of these points uh, don't sound very promising in terms of re uh, achieving stability again in Greece. On the other hand, there are some points that uh, merit some more and some uh, deeper consideration, in particular when it comes to tax evasion, uh, corruption, and uh, the basically the too close link between the oligarchs and the political system. Mm. Well, if the left was to win, they also want to renegotiate the bailout conditions uh, with the international lenders. How much, if any, leeway do they have here? The leeway is quite limited. Um, and uh, there's actually one fact that the interest rates already on Greek government debt is lower than the interest rates on German government debt. So there has been already a lot of allowance to the Greek uh, public to actually lower these interest rates. And um, there's not much room uh, left anymore. It's rather a question of uh, really increasing the tax revenues for the Greek government. Now, if there was no agreement, uh, all of course under the proviso that the left party is going to win this Sunday, uh, there's even talk of a Greek Eurozone exit. How likely is that? Uh, I don't think that this Greek exit or, in brief, Grexit yeah. is very likely, um, given that there is um, a lot of fear, in particular in Greece, that a devaluation of the currency, of the development of the new currency, would even increase the problems, at least in the short run, for Greece, and would uh, actually send shock signals maybe also to other countries. Exactly, because I I'm wondering, so if there isn't a Greek exit or a Grexit, even though they don't live up to the demands of the international lenders. That could send the signal that whatever you do, nothing will happen to you in the Eurozone. It, and of course, if they did leave, uh, then we have the shockwave. So either way, you can't really win, can you? Well, it's exactly this point about stability and about confidence that investors need to have in the Eurozone. And if it's really the case that agreements that have been taken a couple of years ago are really not worth anything, then it will rather, in the long run, um, increase the problems we have. So it's therefore so important that all the contracts, the agreements uh, will be fulfilled mm -hmm. and it's really um, that stability and confidence will come back. All right. Well, let's see and wait what happens on a Sunday. Uh, but of course, German frugality, which we were looking at in this program already very closely, is anything but popular in Greece in particular. But it seems to be working for Germany. Uh, that's a strange uh, coincidence. I mean, how, does, how, how do you explain that? I, think, I guess that um, the perception uh, that uh, it's working in Germany while not working in Greece might be not completely right. The main point is that in Greece um, there should be massive efforts to increase tax income. Uh, so this means that basically uh, all the, the revenues that are generated will be sufficient to also cover government expenditures. And this is something that really uh, people have to work on in Greece, maybe with the help from abroad. Okay, Jörg Rochol, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you.